In this video, I'm going to show you how you take a study, something that you really loved in your work on the study and turning it into a large painting. So what you're going to need are a pair of scissors, your measuring tape, masking tape, and oil-based primer. Get the oil-based primer stuff, guys, not the regular acrylic stuff. This is a full-fledged painting that I am going to create based off of this study that I did, and I'm going to be putting it on this linen canvas, okay? And you can see it's, you know, it's bent up and this and that and the other thing. Not a problem. You'll see, you will see. My name is Vidi Evenson and I paint grease. So you painted a study, something that you really like and you want to paint it as an official, big, beautiful, or at least larger painting. What do you do and how do you go about it? In my area here on this tiny little Greek island, as you know, we don't have any art stores. We haven't even got a post office. Most of my collectors are in the States and I need to make sure that my painting is going to ship well internationally and arrive in my collector's hands beautifully without any problems. So I'm gonna show you what I do and, and how I prepare my linen for painting and see if it works for you. Uh, if I had an art store around and I were in the States, yeah, of course you can get these great ready-made uh, this, that, and the other thing. But here, <laughs> uh, no. The focus of this video is to prepare your linen or canvas for an official, big, beautiful painting. And in order to do that, we need to constrict and restrict ourselves a little bit more and make sure everything is done right. Because this is going into a collector's hands. It needs to be of the highest quality. So having said that, let's get started. We're gonna start by gessoing uh, and putting some oil-based primer on the linen uh, and letting that dry before we actually get started with the painting. First thing I need to do is uh, measure out the canvas and square it up because it's cut a little bit lopsided and I just wanna fix that uh, for uh, the sale of the painting afterwards making sure that it all works together and that I'm measuring out correctly. And it's easy when you have a big roll of canvas to, you know, cut a little bit lopsided. And you know, it's not a problem. Uh, you can easily straighten things out and get it back into shape. When I have a pretty decent um, rectangular cut, uh, I will um, begin to measure out the size of, uh, of this painting. Uh, and from uh, the, the sizes that I had on the study, which was two and a half centimeters by 30 centimeters, I'm just measuring out 10 centimeters on each side more. So 31 and a half by 40 centimeters will be the size of this particular painting that I'm going to do. And there you can see, it's just gonna be a little bit larger and I think it's just gonna look beautiful. Uh, hopefully I'll paint it as well um, as I did the study. I think my study turned out uh, pretty much okay. I haven't gone in and done any final details on the study, but it's, it's not necessary, not at this moment. Uh, if I go out to sell the study, uh, then I will go in and uh, do some extra uh, little little works on it to get it up to par. And now I'm just measuring uh, and I'm using a uh, stretched canvas to, uh, to basically get the lines 
uh, where I want them. I'm using a light blue marker and uh, just to just just for guidelines. And we'll uh, then get a larger MDF board and uh, get the tape ready. And here we go. The first thing you want to do is uh, just tape down the corners. This is what I usually do is I'll uh, just tape down the corners and lay in the first layer of the oil primer. And um, I add some turpentine to this so that it begins to hold up quick enough. And uh, I'm just spreading it on with a palette knife here just to get a base on and kind of work it in then with the brush. I'm only doing uh, the area that will be painted and leaving the blank canvas uh, around without the primer. It's, it's not necessary. Okay, so I let the first layer dry of this oil primer that I put on. And now I'm gonna stretch the canvas. The first thing you wanna do is get some tape and um, you're gonna tape down the very center of your canvas and pull it tight. And uh, directly above it, you're gonna basically create a cross and uh, you're gonna pull up tight and get this little, um, you can tell it's okay by the, by the lines that are going in. Then you go on to the center of the other side and uh, tape that down. And when you do the opposite side, you're going you're gonna to really pull and get, there you go. You can see how that stretched out a little bit, right? And uh, then... You do the same for the corners of the canvas. And make sure you point the tape towards the center. It helps uh, stretch the canvas uh, more correctly, more uniformly. And pulling down, just, if it's a small enough canvas, sometimes all you need to do are uh, these uh, corners and it's plenty to uh, to make the canvas available for painting but on this one uh, I'm going to do a little bit more I'm just rubbing the tape into the linen and uh, and then onto the MDF board as well and I am going to go in and do um, some more areas. Do the opposite sides, you know, one to the other. Um, keep your, your tape pointing towards the center. It really seems to help without creating any buckles anywhere. And again, if it's um, a small enough piece, you don't have to do too many. If this was a very large piece of canvas, uh, I would probably do a third round and get all the extra areas uh, of the canvas covered and taped and stretched. It really does the same thing as putting your canvas on stretcher bars and stretching it that way with the um, with staples uh, holding it in place. I really like it like this, as I said, because um, I need to roll up the painting and put it in a tube for safe shipping internationally. So, uh, you know, after I get the tape in, then uh, I can um, gesso it again and get ready for the painting. Oh, I, uh, in this part, I am uh, I always measure out where my painting is gonna go. 
and put some tape down so that I can uh, just not worry about the edges of the canvas and you know hope if no paint gets in between the tape then uh, it will have a very very clean edge when I take the tape off after the painting is finished and it, it's quite nice when it's clean like that just an added extra so it's just measuring out and uh, using uh, the space wisely. I always uh, leave plenty of room for the um, uh, for when I uh, when the collector can, will take it to be framed. They want it to put it on stretcher bars or or glued onto a board. Whatever they want to do, they have plenty of room to do it. And you see how nice and beautiful and uh, it has mellowed out, no more wrinkles. It's all done. <laughs> Adding another layer of the oil primer. And usually I'll do at least two coats, uh, depending on the size, depending on the type of linen I'm using. And there we have uh, the finished product. But then I woke up the next morning and look, it had buckled. What happened? And I saw that the tape came undone. So, I mean, it's such a quick fix. You know, you just uh, pull it tight and uh, um, attach the tape again and uh, just really rub it in. And it's, uh, it's fine, got rid of it in, in a minute. It's real quick and it, you, you know you can keep going and checking the uh, the tape as you go along it's a great way so you can see how easy it is to just tape your canvas or your linen to a board it can be an MDF board it can be hardboard it can be pretty much anything something sturdy that you can use to paint on and then you just take the tape off when you're done, roll it up and put it in one of those protective tubes and ship it across the planet and it will get to your collector safely. It's really easy and it's just like stretching a canvas. You're just doing it with tape. All right, you guys, so with that, be inspired, be creative, be you.